Jenna's like trying to cover her crotch because her dress is unbelievably short. And we like stumble out onto this thing. We see the bad girls logo over the door. We're like ready. Like, so we burst in the double doors and we just see like the bad girls, Las Vegas sign, freaking plush couches, the chandeliers, everything's pink, blue, gold, like all the colors. Like, it's huge. And I could like hear my voice. So I'm like, oh my God, this house is phenomenal. Like, we were so excited. And then that's when the other girls came out of the kitchen. And uh, we saw like the slot machines and the pool tables with all the pictures. And we hated our picture. Like we shared over that. Gia has on underwear. <laughs> she has on a tiny little thing like this. Booty shorts. Like this is like tattoo crazy. But when, once I saw her, when, like once I see her, I realized that like she's like, beautiful like sex kitten like she's this tall but she is like beautiful like I think Gia is hotness the fact that like Amy is just starting stuff is really getting on my nerves so I don't know where she is but I decide that I'm gonna like let her know what I really think of her on her picture so I get a marker and I start like blacking out her eyes and her teeth and calling her a slut and calling her a schizo because she's crazy she's bananas and then all of a sudden she wham pushes me to the floor I'm from Miami ho I will kill you I really do not like her and I don't plan on getting close to Amy but I decide that you know 16 hours and like mad blow-ups is not enough to really judge someone so I'm just gonna let things go for now Erica is helping Jenna cook her ravioli but before Erica opens I mean turns on the microwave part of the oven she opens the oven and Erica basically hands Amy her wings that me and the twins put in the oven the pre like last night or whatever I can see a switch go off in her head and she's like Anybody think this shit is funny? They'll get slapped. Amy reaches over and punches me in the face. I'm gonna fight as hard as I can because you're not gonna beat me up and don't you dare hit my face. That's my other rule. My face is how I make my money. So you're not gonna hit me in the face and think you're just gonna get away with it. Obviously, we have so much estrogen in this house that we jumped at the chance to have some guys come over. So they call him over and Cash comes by with his boy Amin. Immediately, I'm drawn to Cash because he has a million dollar smile and I just think he's really cute. So we're all looking at them right now from the top of the stairs, just checking them out. Then we decide to go down and make ball. Cash and Amin are really, really country. They're from Virginia. So immediately, Gia starts to say that they look like Brokeback Mountain because they have on like their boots and they have like the southern accent. But I think Amin was a little bit more country than Cash at this point because Cash looks like really clean cut and super cute. Cash and I are just like having like a playful like banter. I did ask him to come over and cuddle, but he had to go to work in the morning, so it's okay. But like, we weren't kissing or anything. I think that I was just happy to be around boys. To recruit Jenna as my wing woman, I want her to be the one to like, go get my cute boys for me and bring them to me so I can uh, get it popping. I spot from across the room right now, the cutest light skinned boy. And he's in a red shirt, super muscular. So I send my wing woman, Jenna, on a mission. And he comes to our VIP section. And I find out his name is Julian. I probably could have pulled it off on my own. But why do all of that? Why not let somebody bring the pie to me? Why would I have to like walk out of the section and do it myself? Thank you, Jenna, for going and getting my piece of pie. I'm just having so much fun right now and I'm so happy that I met a cutie. I'm also like all over him or like touching 
to each other and I'm like expressing to everybody all the bad things I want to do to him and I'm pretty sure that I told him I want to lick his ass. <laughs> I cannot wait to lick his ass. He leaves Julian at the club. I definitely get his number and he writes it on the palm of my hand and so when I get home, well, when I let Amy and Jenna bring me home and they're starting to describe to me everything, I'm like, let me call this guy. I run into, I'm running into the phone room and I decide to dial him. I leave him a voicemail. I'm leaving him a voicemail, letting him know that he should call me at blah, blah, blah. And I'm thinking he may or may not get it, but the only reason that I called as soon as I got home was only because I was super drunk. I'm way too cool to call a guy on the first night. Like on a scale of one to 10, I might be like an 11 of how much I am sexually frustrated. But at the same time, it's like, there are a lot of pieces of meat to choose from in Vegas. Why'd you settle for one? Open this beautiful door to this huge-ass mansion in Las Vegas, mind you. And I see a big sign that says, Welcome Bad Girl Club. I see this little girl, and literally, she is so small. She's like 5'1". And she's walking into the house, and I kind of squint my eyes. I've had a couple drinks at this time, and I'm looking, and I'm like, wait a minute. Are you wearing a bikini as your first entrance into the Bad Girl Club house? So we're looking at the pictures, and I'm like, wait a minute. Hmm. There's a blonde. There's a black chick, there's the little one, which was Gia, and I'm like, who are these two? They kind of look similar. I'm like, we might have twins. A black chick pulls up, and I'm like, whoa, why weren't these girls in the limo? So they walk into the house, and I'm like, whoa, I took a minute, and I'm like, whoa, these got be twins, and I'm telling everybody, I'm like, I'm right, I'm right, they're twins, they're twins, and right away, everybody's like running up to them, I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. You're a twin, you're a twin. And I just take one step back and I'm like, I already told you this. This was so like an hour ago. I'm kind of like over it and I'm walking away into the kitchen to get me another drink. I'm looking at Jenna like, okay, where did we find you? Did we find you in the Jersey Shore? Are you a reject from there? Like, what are you doing in the Bad Girls Clubhouse with burgundy skin color? And right away she's all like, me, yeah, da, 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 da. my name is Jenna. And I'm just, look, I take one look at her and I'm like, okay, I gotta look away. The blonde when Amy looks at me and is like, no throwing the birds, punches, ladies. And I look at her like, you gotta be kidding me. Like, seriously, are you worried about somebody throwing a first punch at you? Like, seriously, this is not where you should be. You should not be at the bad girls club if you're worried about somebody throwing a punch at you first. We're outside in the pool and we're vibing, getting to know one another. And little Gia, AKA the sex kitten, walks in and says, I'm ready to get naked. And I'm like, go ahead and let's take it off. Let's get this party started. Mimi, you talk so much crap about Amy. Amy this, Amy that, skip this, skip that. Your partner skips every two seconds. But yet you're commentating her like you guys are best friends and grew up in elementary school. I'm like, you really have to be fake or you're just threatened by the security of yourself in this household. Like the girl gave you a black eye. There's no coming back from a black eye. She ruined your money maker. How could you be talking to Amy? Are you serious? I literally think it's hilarious the way Gabby Gabby and Danny go at each other all day. It's good entertainment to me. It reminds me of my brother from back home. I think Danny is a little bit hard on Gabby. Gabby likes to eat, and I understand that Gabby's a little bit chubbier than Danny. And I know that Danny's always like, Gabby, you know, put the fork down, stop eating. This is disgusting. You need to lose weight. And I kind of feel for the girl because I like food too, and I don't know what I would be able to do if I couldn't eat food. So I think maybe she's a little bit hard on her sister. I think it's kind of sad because you're in the bad girl clubhouse and you should have your sister's back. And sometimes I feel like she's belittling her to a point that it makes her want to eat more. The twins have their bond with each other. I have a bond with nobody. I'm just here to have a good time. Gia's doing her own thing. And I feel like Jenna, Amy, and me secretly need each other because if not, neither one of them are going to make it in the house by themselves. I like nice things and I came up without them, but you know what? My mother was a single mother, and she worked two jobs, went to school, raised me and my brothers by herself, then married a guy, and it was like all of a sudden a dream has come true. You know, she had money, they got married, we got we got a beautiful house, we got a white picket fence, we got a pool in our backyard, we have dogs, and now we have nice things. I don't rip on Jenna if Jenna was 
sincerely, if Jenna was sincerely poor and just was real about it, I rip on Jenna because Jenna is fake. Jenna is trying to be something that she's not. I'm not being something that I'm not. I know where I came from, and I and I remember where I came from, and I don't regret anything that I say or do, and I'm not ashamed of how I grew up. But that's why I am the way I am now. I'm very spoiled now, and I get what I want now because I worked hard for it, and so did my parents. Jenna wished that a guy would buy her a real Louis. Jenna wishes that she can walk around in my red bottom. Jenna wishes that she had money to buy nice things and go grocery shopping. But Jenna is bro. Jenna doesn't know how to network with the right people. And Jenna brings back broke back mountain motherfuckers to the mansion. Jenna is disgusting. She can call me whatever she wants, and that's right. This is paid. Remember to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at JRealityTV Blog.